everyone, it's Milky, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing a video that's a bit different from what I usually do, but um, a while ago I watched The Queen's Gambit and I really liked the fashion in there, much like everyone. <laughs> so I thought I would do a little lookbook inspired by The Queen's Gambit, which is I guess different from the fashion that I usually post on here, but I hope that you'll enjoy it nonetheless. I really like wearing sort of more vintage styles a lot of the time and like the sort of stuff to work. So I think it might be interesting for you to see the sort of different side of my fashion. So yeah, a lot of the looks in this lookbook aren't really inspired by any particular outfits that Beth wore in the show, but I just wanted to sort of put my own twist on it using or items that I already have in my wardrobe. Let's go! There's a plethora of pretty pinafore outfits in the Queen's Gambit, and this plaid pinafore from the Japanese brand Favorite seemed like a perfect piece for this video. I've paired it with a Peter Pan collar blouse from Milfoy Closet by Lodi Spoto. It's a bit more sweet than the types of blouses in the show, but it's more similar to what I usually like to wear. I'm also wearing these heeled Oxfords from Axe Femme. I would have liked to wear saddle shoes, but I sadly don't have any. Next up is another pinafore look, I just think pinafores are so cute. This one is from the Tawa brand Magic of Utopia, I got it from Double Inspired a while back. The top part is detachable, and I usually just wear it as a skirt, but I thought it looked a bit more vintage this way. I've just paired it with a simple wide-collared top from Loft, it's not a very exciting shirt, but it does let the dress be the focus. I'm wearing my go-to Doc Martin Oxfords, I really love these shoes. This look is a bit of an outlier, but I kind of really like it. I'm wearing a blouse that I made for my Snufkin cosplay. I'm actually wearing it backwards here, but I like this look of the rounded collar in the front. It has that sort of strange quality that some designs in the 60s had. For a sleeker silhouette, I've paired it with this light grey skirt from Loft. I don't really like the shoes I used for this, but I wasn't sure what else to use. These are from Urban Outfitters though, I got them years ago. Next up is a pretty simple look, but the silhouette and general design of this dress by Anc Rouge reminded me of the show. I really like the square neckline on this, and the subtle plaid pattern of the dress is quite cute. Again, I'm wearing my Dr. Martin Oxfords. Lastly, this isn't really a legitimate outfit, but I loved the scene where Beth was drunk and dancing around her apartment, so I thought I'd put my own twist on it. I do quite like this cardigan from Milk. The cropped fit is quite flattering and really cute. The top is from a brand called Amuse, I think, and the shorts are from Tutu Anna. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you liked this lookbook. Sorry that I haven't posted in a little while, I guess I was going through a little bit of a YouTube slump, but hopefully I'll be back to posting more regularly in the near future. And yeah, let me know which outfit was your favorite, and as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a lovely, lovely day. Bye!